Hello friends, this video on Asset and Base Part 7 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 6. Let's see how will be uh, how will acid reacts with metal. So the reaction is you take any acid, you react with the metal, you get salt plus hydrogen gas. That's a typical reaction we have. So uh, the reason why is the metal displace the metal displace hydrogen from acid also because the acid is uh, willing to give hydrogen and metal is ready to displace the hydrogen from acid and create a salt and hydrogen gas and this reaction is called displacement reaction we have learned this in the past chapter what is displacement reaction you have acid you add metal to it Acid is willing to lose a hydrogen ion, metal is uh, willing to uh, join that guy and create a salt and then the hydrogen is displaced by the metal and this is called a uh, displacement reaction. So acid with rea react with only those metals which are above the hydrogen in the reactant. Please note. So this guy acid reacts with only those metals which are above hydrogen reactivity series so these things i think we can explain in the next to next chapter where we will take the activity series also so we have a periodic table in that we have defined the activity series or we can say that in the layman term metals which are more active than as than particular hydrogen right can uh, displace that okay so to displace the Hydrogen, for example, here if you see the tug of war, something like this, you have SCL, right? You add sodium. So, sodium is displacing hydrogen. So, if sodium is displacing hydrogen, sodium has to be powerful than hydrogen. You see, sodium has powerful than hydrogen. That's what it's trying to say. That if, it's, if, it, if, if this uh, sodium is placed above hydrogen in the reactive series, that's in the reactivity series, that means if sodium is more powerful than hydrogen, then only it will displace hydrogen from SCL. So it's more of a fight between sodium and hydrogen to get chlorine. Chlorine is uh, hydrogen wants chlorine, sodium wants chlorine, but sodium is more powerful. Sodium will take chlorine, hydrogen will come out, right? And then we can say that this guy is a is an acid because it gave the hydrogen ion. So we'll explain all this how it works. Mostly the class 11 when we uh, understand why a substance is reactive. Why substance is less reactive? It all depends on the valence cell, the number of electrons it has, and um, the stability it wants to achieve. So those things we'll, we'll learn in class 11. But just now understand that you can say that um, to understand this, sodium has to be powerful than hydrogen to displace hydrogen. Examples of this acid uh, metal reaction: you have zinc, you add H2SO4 sulfuric acid. Jing is more powerful than hydrogen, it will displace this guy. This guy is out now, right? This guy is out. You see that Jing has displaced hydrogen, hydrogen is out, and you got Zn SO4, that is a Jing sulfate is a salt. Correct. So Jing was powerful than hydrogen, it displaced hydrogen from the sulfuric acid, it got Jing sulfate. So we'll take some activity on this. So this is a setup we have. So for this we'll do what we'll do. We'll take some five uh, milliliter of sulfuric acid, and this is sulfuric acid, and we'll put some zinc in this. Zinc in this. The same reaction. Now we'll observe the zinc granules. Right, the reaction will happen. The reaction will start happening. No heat is required in this, and the gas comes out. The gas comes out. So to find what is the gas will pass this guy to the soap thing and you'll find the bubbles, soap bubbles in here. And then you'll take this burning candle here and you'll find that this pops, this pops, right? And that piece, it is what gas? It's a hydrogen gas. Right? See, zinc and H2SO4, we knew, we, we knew all these compounds we had reacted this, but what you get is we don't know. So we got this gas, we pass the soap bubble, we got its bubbles, the bubbles we got and then we put this candle nearby its bubble and it pops up, right? It pops up, that means it is a hydrogen gas, correct? So 
So in this case also, the same reaction happened. We have this zinc, we have the sulfur. Sulfuric acid reacted to give this zinc sulfate, which was settled on somewhere here, and this hydrogen gas that came out. And then to find to confirm it's hydrogen gas, we use this method. We pass it past that through soap bubble. So it got so bubble, and then we use that candle and it, it burst. Burst that is a hydrogen gas. Now let's see how the base reacts with that. So base reacts with some metal. Please note, not all the metals. Base reacts with some metal to form salt and hydrogen gas. For example, zinc plus sodium hydroxide will give you Na2 gln 2 plus hydrogen. Please note, the base doesn't react with all metals, only with some metals. Again, to make the point clear, base does not react with all metals to form salt and water. It reacts only with some metals to form salt and water. We'll do some activity, similar activity. We'll take some zinc here. And this is zinc. And we'll sodium hydroxide here. And in this case, uh, we need to heat it up, right? We'll heat this guy. Right? And we'll see that the uh, get this, this granules here and we'll get some gas. Same thing will pass the soap bubble and we'll put this candle. We'll again see there that this bubble burst. Right? So here we see the reaction is we have the sodium hydroxide, we have zinc, we got Na2 generator 2 plus hydrogen gas. Correct. So the questions which we got is that uh, why the soap bubbles form? Because the hydrogen gas so it forms soap bubbles. When you Take the burning candle near the fire bubble, it bursts, it bursts, so it's a hydrogen gas, right? So that, that's what the experiment is all about. This is the experiment theoretical, I told you this happens, but you want to actually do it in the lab and check whether you actually get the substance or not, you do this experiment. Now the question time. Why should curd and sour substance not be kept in copper vessels? The answer is pretty simple. Because the curd and sour substance, as I told, they are acid in nature, acidic. So you put acid and you put copper, right? So you get some salt plus hydrogen gas, right? So if you see that, this may be harmful. So what is happening here is when acid, acid that is a curd or sour substance, is put in a copper vehicle, copper vessel actually, the reaction can happen. Because you don't need heat also, heat is not required in this case, right? The reaction can happen, it can create harmful salt and also hydrogen gas. And that is the reason why we don't keep uh, curd or salt substance. Which gas is usually liberated when acid reacts with metal? We know that acid plus metal, nothing but salt plus Hydrogen. So hydrogen gas is my answer. Right? Because hydrogen gas is a gas which is liberated when acid reacts. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.